Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vesby here, back at it again with a brand new video, and yes guys, it's been a very long time. It's been almost two years since the last time I've uploaded, but anyways, I'll get into that in a separate video, but for now, I'm back guys. I'll try to keep consistent, but whatever. I will try my hardest. But anyways guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to mod Skater XL, download maps, install gear, and all sorts of things. Um, the whole tutorial is here for Skater XL to any beginners and any people who, are, who have already modded but don't know how to mod the version 3.0 version. So guys, let's just get right into it. I'm going to show you guys all the steps. Timestamps will be down below if you guys need help with anything. Um, you can just click on whatever time it is throughout the video to get to where you want to go if you're not a beginner. But if you're a beginner, just stick with me all the way through and I'll help you guys through everything. If you need some extra help, just comment down below as well and I'll answer you guys right away. So yeah guys, first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Google Chrome and you're going to want to download Discord. Most PC people have this, but if you're brand new to PC, get Discord because it's going to help you out a lot and you need it for modding Skater XL. I'll have a link in the description as well to get Discord as well as the group that you have to join, which is Skater XL Modding. You want to join this group, the link's down below. Make sure you have a created account on Discord and then you'll be uh, joined in as soon as you click the link. It's a friendly group, it's all modding gear, maps, everything is here for Skater XL. Beginners, intermediate, anything, any anyone, it's for everybody. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on it, go to Beginner's Guides under Help. Scroll all the way up to the very top. All the links will be here, the Unity Mod Manager, everything. So the first thing you guys will need is the Unity Mod Manager. I will have a download link in the description for this. Once you have it, you're going to want to drag it onto the screen like so, and it's going to be here. Once you have that, you want to get all the other mods as well. I'll have all the links down below for the mods that I use. All these mods are what you guys will definitely be looking for. The sound mod, the Babo settings where you can record fisheye and all that. Um, the board utilities, um, the boardware, um, the mods for, you know, the maps and everything. All of them have different names. Trick Tracker, everything is here in the description down below. So you want to keep them in a zip folder like so, like WinRAR. They just sit there. You don't want to have the folder out on the desktop. You want to keep it in the zip folder because you need a mod manager will only accept uh, zip files. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into Skater XL, or no, go into Unity Mod Manager, open up the .exe Mod Manager um, app, and it'll open up like so. You're gonna wanna select your game, which is Skater XL, obviously, in the folder. You're gonna wanna go to your Steam apps, which down below, if you guys don't know how to find it, it's in the description. You go to your Steam apps, common, Skater XL, select that folder. Go to mods, and then you're going to want to drag all of these mods into this folder, plop it in, and then click install mod, and then exit out. And then that's it. That's how you install all the mods into Skater XL. So now I'm going to show you guys how to get gear and maps. Both of them are really similar. They're the exact same thing on how to install them. Except gear, there's a different sort of way to it, but I'll show you guys right now. So first things first, you want to press Windows E to open up your file explorer, unless you just click down here, but I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> and you're going to want to go to this PC under that, go to Documents. There should be a Skater XL folder if you have the game downloaded already, which you should. Open that up, and you're going to want to create a folder called Gear and a folder called Maps, like so. For Gear, that's where all the gear will be placed, decks, grip tape, hoodies, everything. I'm going to show you guys through this first. So guys, let's start with Gear. Um, what you're going to want to do is go on the Discord. You could also go to mods.io slash skaterxl, which there will be a link down below if you guys don't have Discord or don't want it. It's a whole different way to it, but it's the exact same thing as Discord. So if you have the Discord, which you should, it's so much easier. Go on it. Scroll down until you see decks, grip tape, hats, hoodies. This is where all the gear is. If you find other files, don't download those because that's not the gear. So let's start with Dex. All of them are the exact same thing. So Dex, like installing Dex is the exact same you would for each of them. So find the deck that you want and make sure they're in like a picture like this. It should be a square small picture like so. Don't download like a picture like this where it's just um, advertising it. You're going to want something like this. So I already installed this one. You're going to click on the one that you want and click open original here. Most of these will be named on command, which which that means is when you save it, you right click save as documents, um, Skater XL gear, 
it should be named like so. I'm sorry with the bracket one that shouldn't be there because I already have it installed in this folder, but it should say if you're installing a deck, it should be deck underscore blah, 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 whatever the name is. If deck doesn't start off with that, it will not show up in the game because there's some sort of command on the file name that will allow it to be put on your skater in the game. So once that's there, once you see that, um, you're, it's perfectly okay to save to this document. So you want to click save, which I won't because I already have this. And then that's pretty much it. Um, for hoodies, it's the exact same thing. Find a hoodie that you want. I'll just download this one. Open it. Open original. And then you want to right click it. Save image as. And it should say M hoodie underscore blah, blah, blah. It's like some sort of command file name. Save it. It should download here. Don't worry about it. Exit. And then you're going to want to open up Skater XL uh, after. And you guys can just go view it and whatever. You could also have Skater XL open when you're installing this stuff. Except for the mods. If you're installing the mods, make sure Skater XL is closed. Or else it could crash the game and corrupt it. However, if you're playing Skater XL and you have it on the bottom of your taskbar and it's chilling and you are downloading maps and gear, you could actually stay on the game while you're installing the maps and the gear. So for maps, guys, you could go to mods.io, or you could go on here, scroll down, or scroll up, sorry, for me, and find map release. And there will be different map releases here, um, uploaded daily by other people, other creators and whatnot. To download one of these, there should be download links here, honestly. Um, people will explain how to download it as well. So for instance, I already have this map, but you're going to click, oh, sorry, this one, Arlington High, I already have this one. The download link will be posted. Click on it, and it'll take you to either Google Drive or like Mega Upload or whatever. You want to click download. It'll say it's whatever, and then download anyway, and it'll pop up in a WinRAR folder, which I'll show you guys here if I go to my downloads. <clears throat> for instance, let's just uh, take this map by Gene Oliver. So this map here, Mary, I already have this installed. It's going to be in a zip folder. You want to open it. Whoops. So have it open like this, and it's going to be a white document, which is kind of weird. Never seen before, but open it up, or don't open it up, sorry. Open up File Explorer and go to Maps instead. You guys should have had the folder created already. If you don't know how to, just go to Documents, open up Skater Excel, and create a folder called Maps here. Once that's opened up, I have all my maps installed here. You just want to drag it in, plop it in, and I'll replace it because I already have it installed. But anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Now let's just show some proof here. I'm going to open it up in windowed mo mode. Oh, my God, I came and speak. So I'm on the version 0.3 beta edition. Um, if it if you guys are watching this really late and this is like uh, mid, like I think it's almost mid-July right now, um, then it'll be outdated this video. So you guys want to make sure that you watch this video sooner than later. If not, just go on the discord and there should be updated links and whatnot to mods, but let's keep going. When you open skater XL, the mods should show up here. If it just loads you right to your skater, then that means it did not work. And also on the mod manager screen, you could either turn on or off the mods. I don't like the Babo settings cause I screwed it up. So I have to reinstall it anyways, but I'm going to keep it off for now. All the other mods, keep them on, or you could have, Babo settings on as well doesn't matter whatever whatever your preferences are whatever you guys prefer honestly but yeah so I'm gonna close pause the game maps press R1 and then the custom maps will all be loaded here all the maps you install will be in this folder for gear if you want to go to edit skater press L1 and all the custom stuff will be here as well the custom deck is here any of the decks you install will be in this folder. Same with the shoes, the bottom, bottoms, I mean, the tops, um, the hoodies, the t-shirts, everything will be here. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's how you mod Skater XL, get the gear and the maps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys need more tutorials on Skater XL or want videos from me, because I'm definitely going to keep playing this game, obvi, and uh, make some more videos on it, because I'm actually really into this game it's a great game besides skate 3 i used to be pretty good at realistic skating i still kind of am not to be cocky but uh I'll definitely make some skating montages and whatnot so yeah guys that's been it um hope you guys enjoy um comment down below if you guys need any help i'll be sure to help you guys also i'm gonna be making my own discord so you guys could join up on that as well probably be playing with subscribers and whatnot um and other games and all sorts of things so yeah guys 
That's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to drop a like if you did and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you know when exactly I upload. And I'm going to try to keep uh, as consistent as possible guys on my channel again. If not, I'm sorry. I'm just here and there honestly on YouTube. It's been like that for years. But um, yeah guys, that's been it. It's your boy Vesby and I'm out. Peace.